I look like shit right now. I apologize. I'm starting off this vlog like this. However, today is March 29th, 2021. It's a Tuesday. I'm currently here working on some orders, packaging some orders up. And um, I leave for surgery on, I leave for surgery on Tuesday, April 6th. And I'll be gone until the 20th. Good morning. Um, today is Thursday, April 1st. And I'm about to head to the um, facility where I'm going to get my blood drawn. And um, how I set up appointment here. A lot of people are usually confused about this. So I go on requestatest.com. I request a test. My test was CBC. And... Um, I go to the website of the facility, I schedule an appointment. When I get to the facility, um, since I ordered the test, it's gonna give me the um, order number or whatever for the, or the doctor's number. So, um, I'm about to head to my appointment, it's scheduled for nine o'clock. And what I'm going to do is the complete blood count. And what complete blood count is, is just checking for, checking your blood levels. We're checking specifically for hemo. My hemo has to be over 12. The last time when I had um, my hemo checked before I left, it was a 12.3 last year. And then when I got to Columbia for my surgery, it was like 13.1. So I'm gonna check that now just to make sure I'm okay, make sure I'm good. Um, because like I said, I do have low iron and I'm anemic. So I wanna make sure that I'm fine to undergo surgery and if I need to do anything to boost my hemo before I have surgery. I think I paid about $34 for my complete blood test. My life is in shambles right now. Um, Just left the post office. My day has been hectic, like literally hectic. Here I am at home trying to wash clothes and pack my bag. Um, I'm not bringing a lot of stuff, really just like pajamas, hoodies, leggings, sandals. I'm not bringing no crazy stuff, uh, robe. And um, Dr. Velasco gives me a lot of supplies, so I'm just not gonna bring a lot of supplies. I'm gonna bring the few things that I will need, but I'm not bringing like hella supplies. It's now... 12.04 and I literally have to be up at like five o'clock. Why did I choose the early flight? I don't know, I really don't. I just really didn't want to get to Columbia late again how I did last time, but I still have to clean up my house. I at least have my money set aside um, in envelopes and yeah, but I need to get my life together. Okay, so I know you guys are asking what I put in my bag this time. Literally nothing. Um, medicine, alcohol pads. I have these because um, I tend to feel like I'm going to faint. So if you sniff these, you don't faint. That worked for me last time. I have some um, Arnica pills in here. Toothbrush, Dial soap, the Gold Bar deodorant. I got my Hemoplex, um, hair products, hair products. Um, in here, I have my Chucks pads, which look like this. I have two of my Chuck pads in there. Um, I have Fajas, backboard, but I literally didn't bring anything because my doctor provides like literally everything. Good morning, it is five. 5.37, got my boppy. I'm just gonna put this like in a little bag or something, which, let me find that. Thank God for clear, because I would literally <laughs> have not made my flight. That TSA long was so, I mean, that TSA line was so long, both of them. So, spend that 179, well worth it, skip the line. They don't check your ID. They just need your boarding pass. But in order to go to Columbia, um, right now you need immigration form filled out. You need a COVID test and of course your passport. But that's what I needed to come or whatever to check in. The flight line to check in, crazy. So if you're coming early in the morning, 
I would say, I don't know, be here on time because literally I was not prepared for that line, either line. Um, but yeah. You know what's funny? Like, I didn't bring any makeup, which I'm, you don't need it for what I'm about to do. But I'm just feeling like, dang, I'm about to be out here for two whole weeks, no makeup. But, like it. Um, yeah, it won't be important. I won't be able to lift my arms probably. So, whatever. Oh my gosh, Miami airport is so freaking big, yo. But finally made it to my gate. Apparently, something happened with my stamp the last time I was here. I don't know what's going on right now. They don't speak English, so I'm just like, eh. But, um, you guys know I was here last year from March 10th to the 19th. And it looks like they messed up my stamps. I don't know. But they're trying to get it straightened out now. So, I will let you know what's going to happen. I don't know. Um, but, yeah. Y'all, let me go. I don't know. What the fuck? They got going on, but they need to fix my fucking stamps period because i don't want to be going through this shit when i come to columbia but now i'm about to go be my driver my mask is dirty <sighs> through customs this is so annoying <laughs> freaking cute i have a private room so it's just me in here Bow bathroom this is so freaking nice so yeah so i got my lunch i'll just got here from the airport so I got my um, blood pressure checked and I fill out some paperwork um, with my information on it and I got my height and weight checked, um, 185 pounds I think and I weighed it by, I mean I'm, my height is 5'6". So this is my dinner, um, this is... I don't know what this is. It looks good though. Chicken. Um, some hot tea, I think. It says frutos rojos and water. I just met with Dr. Velasco. He took a look at my body. We took a look at my round one pictures, um, like my pre-ops for before my round one. And he showed me some of my table pictures, which I seen most of those um, the first time. But yeah, surgery is Thursday, and as ready as I'll be. Oh, crazy! So now I'm about to have a few tests done right now. Um, early in the morning thank you okay. all right guys so this morning i had my um labs i had my ekg blood tests um and my covid test um and i did the p test i guess that's drug test drug test um includes pregnancy test as well the covid test um was up my nose per usual and then um, the blood test will test for antibodies for COVID and other things like um, diseases and stuff like that too. We'll check for that. So 
did that this morning. Uh, I paid, got my supplies, which they give you hella supplies. So I tell people don't bring too much stuff. Um, this is diapers that they gave me. Um, they gave me some stuff down here. So this is what I'll take um, the day of my surgery. Diapers, some. Um, this is like HypoCleanse. You use this to wash before surgery just to get um, everything clean. And then I'm gonna take one to the hospital for them to clean me down when I get there. Some more pads for drainage, compression socks. Um, they also did print out a picture of my passport for me, so I'll take that with me so I don't have to lug around my um, passport. These are some medications that I'll be taking at home, some antibiotics, something for lymphatic drainage, and it gives you cream for your scars after surgery. Um, I have some pads here. That oil is for your massages. Some more medication. And those are for blood clots, the little shots down there. The nurses here in the recovery house administer them. But I just got measured for my faja, my contour faja. Um, and I got abboard, backboard, and lipo foams here. And the cost was about one. 42 total and that's for the person to come to me to to measure me um, that's pretty much what's been going on i ate breakfast i ate lunch and i'm gonna have dinner today too but i took a nap i was tired i have to do something with the hospital like a family history and then um i'm gonna probably go back to sleep until i probably have to go meet the anesthesiologist today because I usually, usually do that before surgery I did that last time but yeah so far so good just preparing for surgery kind of sleepy yeah. all right guys so today is a big day I just got out the shower I had to um, wash my body with this and I want to take one to the hospital with me but um yeah um not nervous more so just ready to start recovering i know my body's gonna look even more amazing and um yeah hopefully this will be my last round no more surgery until i get my breasts done but um yeah i just got up showered and preparing to go to the hospital now diego is gonna pick me up at 5 30 and i have to be at the facility at 6 and my surgery is at 6 30 so that's pretty much it i guess i'll see you guys on the flat side and thank you so much for, for following my journey and So I'm in Picasso. Um, I'm in my stuff. And I'm about to get my IV started. I feel like shit. Got my pain pump. Just got it. Mm, fuck. So my name is Graf. I'm a nap. Currently eating cheese it When I got here, I had lunch and I went to sleep. Um, I think pain pump works because I don't feel like crazy. My hips are just burning. But other than that, I'm fine. My arms are sore. Like I've been in them, been working out, and my um stomach is sore. Like I've been working out. But other than that. Doing good. Very warm. Starting to see some bruising. Come through. Oh, I just woke up. Yeah, I still feel good. Um, leaking a little bit. But other than that, a okay. I'm about to go back to sleep. So I just ate dinner. Um, my homegirl came in here, we talked or whatever. 
her surgery date is tomorrow so now um just chilling about to listen to some relaxing music and um just vibe i kind of don't feel like anything right now i think the pain pump is working i feel good um my hips are just burning that's really it but other than that i'm fine i just got my butt like reshaped at the bottom where the dents were and lipo my stomach my back my arms my inner thighs i opted out of chin lipo because i'm gonna go get fillers on my jawline and i'm gonna get my lips um filled as well with juvederm and then um as you know i get my teeth done on the 17th but yeah everything's going pretty good um the dinner i had like chicken salad tea and water but i feel pretty good right now like i said my hips and my like, bottom booty are burning a little bit but that's to be expected that happened last time um i did wake up doing surgery again i think like twice and i was like hey somebody put me back to sleep <laughs> so um they put me back to sleep but the second time i woke up um i think they were like turning me or something i don't really remember but I remember waking up like twice, but like this, the second time when I woke up, I went right back to sleep. So yeah, um, when I woke up the first time, though, I felt like a burning sensation. They were doing lipo under my boob, um, so I felt that um, it felt I was numb, but like I felt like a little burning sensation. But um, nothing dramatic. It's nothing to worry about if you wake up doing surgery. Literally. Um, you're so high that you don't even like give a fuck, honestly. But yeah, um, went to the hospital this morning, did some paperwork. Um, Diego dropped me off. I love Diego so much, he's so freaking sweet. Um, and um, after that, they took me back. I took my clothes off, we changed into the um, medical stuff like my gown, my hat and the shoes and, and they gave me a new mask and then um went to get my iv which they do saline bag so they wait until the full saline bag is ran through your veins and then they um take you to the um, actual surgery room at picasso last time i had my surgery at, at the hospital or somewhere else like i didn't have it at picasso so when i was speaking on my experience last time about the hospital it was like different it wasn't picasso um i wasn't at picasso last time but um i did like picasso picasso was cool um they took really good care of me um so i got the um when i got in the room we took off my stuff. Um, I got scrubbed down with the um, wash that you're supposed to do for antibacterial. Um, and then, which I had to do last night and this morning myself. And then when I got to the hospital, they did it again. And then um, they sat me on a table and the anesthesiologist came in and um, actually hugged me so sweet i love him too um and then dr velasco i forgot to say after i was sitting on the table getting a saline bag dr velasco came in um, we went to a room he marked me up um and yeah dr velasco is so freaking sweet as well like everybody on his staff is like amazing but we went to um the room washed me down i sat on the table um they put some medicine like no he said antibiotics and then I got some medicine in my um, IV. And then um, the anesthesiologist did my epidural. It did, I did feel it this time. Um, it burned a little bit, but um, nothing major, nothing crazy, like to where I was like, oh my God, because I was already like high as hell when they um, gave me my epidural. They gave me the uh, epidural. And then from there, I barely remember anything. Um, lay down and it was a wrap and I was getting surgery so yeah um nothing pretty much to like really worry about like everything is like really safe and I felt great but um it's just after like recovery it's like so annoying but I'm actually fine this time and I want to say it's because of the pain pump um 
I did take medicine when I got home to the recovery house. Um, they gave me um, some medicine. When I was um, in recovery though at the hospital, they took my catheter out. I didn't even know I had a catheter in. <laughs> they took my catheter out because you're numb from the waist down or your back down or something like that. And um, they took my catheter out and then um, she let me lay there for a little while. And then she put my faha on. And then eventually like I got up and we went to go sit in the room, which is like the holding room where you sit and wait for your driver to come. Um, she gave me crackers and tea twice, um, two cups of tea. And then, um, then I went to the car. They brought a wheelchair and they took me to the car. And I got here to the recovery house. I ate and took a nap. And I've taken two naps so far. Um, so yeah, just letting my body do what it's gonna do. And I think I'll get a massage tomorrow. But yeah, other than that, everything is going great so far. Um, you know, thank you guys for understanding too. Like, um, thank you for the prayers and the well wishes as well. Like this process is not easy when you're going through it. Um, well, for me, I really just like to focus on what's being done. I do like to vlog for you guys. However, um, I really wanted to focus once again because surgery is not like a game. It's like serious. And um, I didn't really vlog as much, um, as much information, especially when I met with the doctors because I really wanted to sit there and listen. I wanted them to know what I wanted, like go over everything and just have full focus. Um, but yeah um thank you guys for understanding that and respecting um what i share and what i don't and i really appreciate that and um yeah so let's have a speedy recovery so this is gonna be a little tour this is the courtyard um you come out here get some air there's a waterfall over here. I just need to walk a little bit so I can get unstiff before my massage. Oh, this is so cute. What is this? It's been pretty like this for the last few days, like rainy. Hopefully the weather gets better because I want to go to um, the statue. So. so this is my breakfast for today. I have my pancakes, eggs, pineapple, and kiwis, and I have some juice here. So let's eat my breakfast. First massage, I will show you by hands because I look flagged. These massages are hell. That's the worst part. I'm gonna pass out. So I just had my first massage. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I thought I was gonna probably faint. I did feel lightheaded in the beginning, but now I'm about to get a shower. My faha is off, as you can see, it's there. Um, and I'm gonna put on my skin look faha today which I got last time, so it's gonna be a little loose, but that's cool until I get my contour fly. So now I'm about to have lunch. Some chicken, no fish, and, oh, that might be chicken, and some like, pasta salad. Some juice. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful out right now. And the sun feels amazing. Wow. This is upstairs where Dr. Velasco's office is. You also get labs up here as well. Columbia is like a vibe. I love it here. I honestly just want to come back and chill and not get nothing done but just to be here y'all saw the courtyard before very safe and secure area <clears throat>
You have walls on each side, and the front has like a door where you cannot get in. Like you have to bring a buzzer to get in. Very safe. Well, this whole time I was trying to figure out where my ping pong was, it's in my back. Let me see if I can show you, hold on. It's there. All right, so here's my breakfast. So this morning I got waffles, eggs, fruits, and orange juice. I crushed that with my medicine. They gave me some stuff here to drink. I don't know what that's for. <clears throat> but yeah, I cannot get comfortable to sit down today. So, this is me right now. Having a diaper. Diaper gang, period. Yeah. Um, not much going on right now. I think I'm gonna have a massage this morning. That's about it. Day three. I like to come and enjoy the sun. Oh my. Ugh. Love it here. So pretty much after surgery, there's nothing to really do every day but to eat, get massages, and chill. Um, so that's why you all only been seeing me post food because there's nothing else to do right now. Um, but yeah, currently just drinking my orange juice. I just had breakfast with the medicine that they give you for pain, and I'm gonna get my massage soon. But yeah, there's nothing else to really do but to chill and heal and eat and massage. So, yeah. This is how we're looking. I have a diaper. But yeah. Oh. So this is my lunch. Um, it's like chicken and rice with avocado, some sweet tea. Um, it's really uncomfortable for me to sit right now, so I'm kind of like just standing to eat, which is annoying, but yeah. Had my massage, took a shower, laid down, and they brought my lunch. So, I'm about to try to eat. So, I got some these. So cute. They need to give me some hookah. My face is breaking out. I'm having my face too. Mm. Look at y'all style with the vibes. Look at Stevie. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go. Most of my evenings look like this. Today is Saturday. Dr. Velasco came to see us today. Um, just laying here in bed. But at least I do have a nice view. I don't feel like I'm in prison. Hey, it's my dinner. Second like hamburger and potatoes. Um, to do is to sleep, eat, and recover. So I'm currently um, in the massage room. I'm getting something. I don't know what this is. She says for information. Um, but yeah. Um, I'm currently doing this right now. I didn't do much today. I woke up, went back to sleep, ate, went back to sleep, went outside, had a snack, and now I'm getting a massage. <sighs> I need to sleep over. By like day four, you're like over it. I'm like, I just want to be normal again. But no pain. I took my pain pump off, um, I unhooked it. Um, this morning, I had to poop like twice. They gave me this medicine um, yesterday and it kicked in this morning. So I had to poop, which is for, um, to pass stool. But yeah, um, that's a massage. I have to do this thing for like 15 minutes though. I look horrible, sorry. So super annoyed right now. Um, the room that I booked, I booked a private room. Supposedly they booked somebody for this 
same room for tonight. So they're trying to move me to a room that's a shared room and I booked a private room for all days. I don't want to be in a shared room. So um, I just called IME to see if I can come today instead of coming tomorrow because that's weird. Why would you book two people for the same night in the room? So that's really annoying. And it's like annoying that you have to pack your bag to go to another room when you just had surgery. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to go to IME's today because I don't know, I'm not in the best mood today at all. Um, so yeah, what the fuck? I just feel like if people are doing surgery, you should not be playing musical chairs or rooms. <sighs> Over it, I'm ready to go home. So I just got to Amy's, this is her second recovery house. Um, last time I stayed at the first one. This one is really spacious, really nice. This is a private room. Closet space. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I look a mess. I'm gonna take all my lashes off and pull my wig off. <laughs> Head it to get a massage though. I'm at Amy's currently. This new location is so nice. Uh, but yeah. I did not get a massage yesterday. Um, yeah, so I'm about to get one today. In a much better mood, too. Currently, I'm in a massage right now. This is for inflammation and swelling. Um, like I said before, the days are pretty repetitive. Eat, massage, shower, medicine, nap, lunch, medicine, and sleep. Really repetitive. Not much to show. I'm feeling great. so I can use it when I get home. Holly is so big. So, so big. Sebastián de la Alcázar.
sausage Yum yum. I'm sitting on a video. Hello, boo. Fat girl heaven. Hi guys, so it's currently Saturday, March 17. And um I'm here and eating some lunch. I got Mr. Wings. This is like honey barbecue wings, some fries, some mod sticks, lemonade, and I got a sprite, but oh my gosh amazing this is my favorite thing that i've ordered since i've been here like i love mr wings it's so freaking good my appointment today with um dr um adrian sario is rescheduled to monday because they had to close down for covid um so i have to go on monday early and get my teeth done but yeah i'm gonna be here in the bed watching netflix today and tomorrow i had a massage this morning came back took a shower and now i'm just chilling so i'm gonna be watching movies today and tomorrow okay guys so check this out oh um mucho grande but um about to eat lunch. Um, didn't do much today. Boring. I look a mess. I'm gonna wear my hood for the rest of the time that I'm here. Period. I ordered food. About to eat. watching TikToks. Hey, yeah, I know. So we're in the dark here. <laughs> oh, the lights went out. You should. All right. So this is my last official full day in Cali, Colombia. I will be going home in the morning at 6.45 a.m. Um, my flight is from Cali to Miami, Miami to Atlanta. But um, today, I have a busy schedule. Today, I'm gonna go um, get a massage. I'm gonna see the doctor. Um, I need to take my COVID tests. I'm gonna get my teeth done today. And that's pretty much it. Um, getting my teeth done is gonna probably take uh, somewhere around like six hours. Um, so I'm gonna, that's gonna be an all day thing. Um, I go there at three. My massage is at 11. Right now, I'm eating breakfast. And I look horrible. Um, oh, I scheduled a lash appointment, scheduled hair appointment. Uh, just ready to go home and heal and work. Um, being here has like, been very, really boring because um, there's nothing for me to do. But it's cool. I'm about to just eat my breakfast and watch some TikToks probably. I look good. Yeah, you always look good. Oh, what do you got to say? Here to bed. Period. <laughs> How do you feel? Day 10 post op. I feel like shit. <laughs> Stop raising up your clothes. <laughs> That's not even on it. You I really feel like shit? Yeah, because I didn't get drained last night. Make sure you get drained every day. I didn't get drained. <laughs> Bitch. This is, this is brand new for me. Mm -hmm. like, if, it, if I was drained and compressed, I'd be tight. Mm -hmm. I'd be feeling great. Mm -hmm. The drugs is kicking in. Wow. Trauma doll. Trauma doll. <laughs> <laughs> in my head. <laughs> Last day in Cali. Going back to good old ATL. I'm still stuck here in the same spot. <laughs> um. You ready? Ooh. Good. How you feel? <laughs> it tastes like I don't like. I don't like that. That was almost down my throat. <laughs> so I'm kind of 
currently at Dr. Adrian Sadia's office and I'm getting veneers, resin veneers. Um, I did get my gum shaved. I got a cleaning and now I think I'm just waiting to get the procedure done. But yeah. So I'm all done. I don't know if I like them yet. Um, they're gonna have to wear them. Columbia honestly makes you feel like a criminal in a way. Like when you're trying to get out of the country, they ask a lot of questions. They go through your shit. Um, yeah, I mean, I understand why, but it's like, okay. Currently at the airport, about to go to my gate. I was trying to look for a fucking hat because my head is fucked up. Yeah, I'm about to grab a little snack. See if I can find a hat. Yeah. So a lot of people ask about the flight. Um, on the way home, I get aisle seats so I can get up and walk. But last time I didn't get up and walk. But this time I might, I don't know, but aisle seats so you can get up and down. Murder on the beach so it's not nice.